In Ravenfield, there's a desert map called Dust Bowl. It's pretty good, but it could be better. Today, we're gonna be checking out Under the Radar, which is supposedly better. So first things first, looking at the map, it looks like one team gets a massive assistance to air power. Those are huge runways. We're also gonna be using the Vanilla Plus weapons pack. Now this map is all about having a huge sprawling experience out in the desert. You better not take my plane. Oh, I'm the gunner? Let's switch that there, Billy. How you doing, that. Billy? Did I just run over our friend? Yes, I did. Well, you know what? That sucks for him. Look at the little turret on this thing. This attacker plane seems pretty awesome. Now, as far as bomb bays and weapons ordnance, it looks like just machine guns and maybe bombs. But I always feel like in a new map, if you can get out in the air because you're gonna get a really, really good viewpoint. Oh, the enemy does have air power, I guess. Well, they do have like a little bit of a dirt airstrip, but we should have aerial superiority. At least we as in the blue team. So flying over, you can see tons and tons of military bases that we can fight for, including this one that the enemy actually already has. Has. This it looks like a, a heavily defended checkpoint and over here. It looks like oh my god Somebody's shooting at me. Hey, I'm on a tour I'm telling my people to keep their hands and arms inside the vehicle and you're trying to shoot us that that is rude But yeah, a little bit of a radar installation. Maybe that's like communication site kind of feels like operation desert storm out here Except the enemy's really good at shooting down planes you jerk. Oh, sorry, Bob. Wait, are you Bob or Bill? Traitor Oh neither so as far as people doing their job for their team, I'm the only guy not doing it since I'm at negative one point. We've got some pretty impressive and heavily armed Jeeps here. We even have what looks like sort of like an Abrams style tank. Is that more Abrams or Leopard? What do you guys think? Oh, this is sweet. Oh, it's not just a like a checkpoint. This is a bridge leading up to the armor checkpoint. Oh, hold on. They've got enemy armor. Let's bring out this big bad thing and go boom skis. Wait for it to hit. Boom! Beautiful. Oh, they're creeping on the right. And by the right, I mean the opposite. It's the left side. Let's see if I can't hit some of them. Oh, I knocked the driver out. Oh, that thing just made it a target. Now, I don't know how quickly this reloads. Oh, actually very quick. Go ahead and get back on it, boys. Yeah, he thinks he's going somewhere. <laughs> I love it. So now we can grab this machine gun. Ta 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 ta. Oh. Just, just something about getting on a heavy belt-fed machine gun and just letting loose the dogs of war. If the dogs of war were 50 caliber bullets, you mean. Give me cover and fire! Oh man, wait a minute, where have I seen this before? Giant tank on a bridge. I'm near some sandbags with like an old school pistol going pow! but then it blows up. Tom Hanks was in it. Was it Toy Story? So the enemy has that heavily garrisoned over there. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, I need to reheal myself. Oh, with the vanilla plus weapons, I think you have to manually reload or I just interrupted it. Oh gosh, uh, my anti-tank missile system is out of anti-tank missiles. So now it's just a system, AKA a giant tube. Whoa, enemy armor looks a little bit different than our tanks. Maybe a little more modern, a little more Russian slash European. Now, seeing the battlefield from the sky is obviously the best course of action so let's get back up there using this beautiful weapon of war i honestly think like the helicopter is s tier in ravenfield the plane is just like a tier now i might be a little bit better at helicopter flying than plane flying but it's just got a lot more going on for it oh look at that we have started to take the heavily armed checkpoint so i guess my job should be intercepting any potential reinforcements ow Oh my god, something just wrecked my face. I'm down to like no health. Wait, 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 did they just spawn back? All right, I left uh, my position being aerial cover a little bit too soon and biscuits and gravy. You know what? I don't like you. Oh, apparently I activated my parachute a little bit too late. Soldier, I need a gunner. One of you brave soldiers, uh, thanks. Like look at the heavy machine gun under this. Actually, I guess you could consider that an auto cannon, is it? I would imagine this is based off the Apache. Does the Apache have an auto cannon or like a heavy machine gun? God, the sound of these rotor blades going, hey fella. He's like, I'm playing. You are my little baby. Get out of my way. Here we go. Destroy the mongoose. Now what we're doing is going for this tank. Oh, he's, oh my God. He just drove right through a bunch of my allies. So if I fire this rocket, I'll probably do some friendly damage. So I guess I can't really do that. 
but we get a pretty good view of this area of the map. Yeah, definitely some kind of a radar dish, another more modern radar dish. Or is that a radar? I mean, a radar. Is that radar or radar? Could it be radio? Oh, there we go. Danger close. We got a discount. I double checked that shot just to make sure we could get the discount and we pulled it off. Man, that I haven't seen that commercial in a while. Stab it, evasive maneuvers. Do a barrel roll. That didn't work. All right, activate parachute. Don't break my knees. And I just pooped out Blu-ray jam. I could be better at this by now. Look at that guy. What are you doing? Hey, cubed. Get wrecked. Oh, the tank firing. That's just... When a pilot gets shot down, you need to be able to rescue him with a helicopter. This is why Ravenfield should be multiplayer. I mean, with the Battlefield franchise in the state that it is... Hold on, I know what to do here. Kaboomski! Do your thing, missile. Oh, well, I guess they're already dead. Oh, jeez. He's still alive. So am I. 43 health. Ow. What was that? A tank? Hey, buddy, can you pick me up, please? Hey, buddy. No. You son of a biscuit. Hell, oh, God. I jumped into it right in time to get a missile to the face. There we go. Oh, man, we lost. Oh, my God. That's that's what death looks like. So I already think this plays better than Dust Bowl. Look at that plane just strafing that tank. I love those moments. What we need is a big old, like, Chinook helicopter. Heavy transport on this map. All right, I got my gunner. Oh, I got laser guided missiles. Let's see what we can't do with that. Is my laser guided where like he's aiming? Kind of lines up that way. Oh, here we go. All right, I've got to look at the thing and then right click. Are you friend or foe? You're friend, but you're not acting like it. So surveying this, I feel like kind of Luke Skywalker right here. Flying through Beggar's Canyon. This, oh, that's an enemy anti-aircraft installation. Oh, this is just like a helicopter's dream flying around terrain like this. All right, as those guys are all dead, let's fly this way and see what the enemy base actually starts to look like. So a little bit of a vehicle depot. Whoa, this is cool. A very interesting container rail system. And then over here is the enemy airfield. Plane just flew by me. I've been called to do an airstrike. I wish I could scuttle this because then I'd take over that plane. Yeah, that's not going to hit. All right, so we have to imagine that that plane is going to try to circle back and get us. But here's the other side of the map. There's a giant pipeline. It looks broken. Yeah, he's... Let's do this. Uh, well, we'll see it from the above. With like a little bit of, I guess, the oil company's buildings? Support system? Oh, that anti-aircraft is firing. Wait, that's a friend down there, right? All right, I've got to take that thing out. Oh, someone's already shooting at me. All right, this is going to be tough to sneak up on an anti-aircraft gun. I don't really have any explosives. Nobody's creeping up behind me. Oh, shoot. Surprise! Where are you at? Oh, God. <laughs> that worked. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I feel like he shot me through the door of the Jeep, and that may be a little bit insane. The guy's name is Ray Trace, and I don't trust that at all. But we're not negative one anymore. We got 20 kills. So as far as other areas we can deploy, let's go deploy at the choke point. And we're going to want to switch up our weapons here. Oh my god, that is beautiful. <gasps> this is even cooler. The Scarab looks like some kind of futuristic gun. Yeah, I feel like my team doesn't have the cool weapons. Tomahawk looks epic. All right, yeah, my guns are pretty dope. Let's hear what this sounds like. Oh, it's semi-automatic. Uh-oh. This is definitely more of a marksman rifle. Yeah, it's got 14 rounds in the magazine. Okay. Oh, this is fully auto, though. Yeah, so this is heavily defended, and if you take it, man, you can defend it fairly easy. All right, boys, all aboard. So seeing the level from the sky is awesome, but from the ground seems a little bit safer right now. Then again, I also haven't encountered an enemy tank. Oh, God, this is bad. Uh-oh. Something just smash me. We gotta be smart, which is usually not my forte. Oh, it's destroyed. How am I not being able to hit that guy? There we go. Lots of really good opportunities for like medium, long distance shooting, areas for close quarters combat if you want it, and a lot of room to move around as a vehicle. Feels very much like what I'd imagine like Desert Storm could have been out in like the oil fields. Oh, enemy tank. Ooh, this looks like a cheeky spot. Everybody get out because that tank's going to blow us up. All right, ambush from the mountains like the sand people do. Oh, did I miss? I swear it never happens. Oh god, it's a giant cliff. I think I hit it. Sniper! Dude, if he tank shells you? Oh yes, I got a marksman rifle for this instance. All right, tank is still alive though. I think this is definitely a recoilless rifle, as they call them. And it's not powerful enough to one hit a tank. Dude, I love having a sniper up here in the mountains. 
This is much more fun than, say, like, Dust Bowl is. You better not get in that armored vehicle there, fella. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. He was going for it. But being able to snipe and counter snipe up here. Oh, he got in the vehicle. The last guy. Can I snipe him out? He's got armored glass there. Here we go. There we go. What's Ronnie? <laughs> you dead? All right, I'm going to go take that Jeep or try to. Hey, reinforcements. Oh, my sniper's chilling with me, isn't he? All right, you drive. I'll shoot. And let's attack the canyon. Love this machine gun. Nice light machine gun. Good work. Go to over there. I can't see the point, so I'm just going to have to arbitrarily squad command my soldier to go this way. Attack the lift. Let's see how good of a driver he is. You know what? I'll do it. The pathfinding of the AI might not be the best, and that bit of the canyon looks a little bit tricky. Oh, yes. Look at this. A little bit of a double pincer envelopment and a little bit of... Would you stop it? Victory indeed. Yeah, you blew up your own Jeep and you killed Henry. Henry! You know, it's like the last guy to die in a war. Like that guy. These two guys were the last ones to die and they didn't have to. They ran into concrete pipes. Their Jeep exploded because they couldn't drive. That's how it happened. So now what I want to do is make this insane. 300 bots, two second respawn, and we're going to see this as a neutral spectator from the sky. So this is the giant airfield. Well, uh, I guess, oh, you have light attackers and heavy attackers with like the rear facing machine guns. This one doesn't have rear facing machine guns. Oh my God, isn't that glorious? Massive bridge battles are always my favorite. So this is kind of where the action kicks off is this bridge. And if you just look at it, my God, God. Oh, look at that bombs going off. Carpet bombing action. Heavy armor movement. Tons of infantry. This, this is what it's all about. Battles like this. Ravenfield is essentially just like a battle simulator that you get to jump into and be first person or third person if you want to. The modding community has kept this game just even going further. Steel Raven, the developer, is continuing to work on it. It's, it's an amazing game. And this map made by Starstrafe is just gorgeous. Like, look at all this. Huge. It's got to be at least three times as big as Dust Bowl. Oh, this is nice. A little elevated position. Here's their vehicle depot with all their containers, which could... Who knows what secrets they have. Just vehicles and infantry squads running all over the place. This is what a good map in Ravenfield is all about. But this gloriously epic bridge battle out in the desert? Man. That is awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more. And I, I'm going to see you in the next one. Look at this. Imagine being this guy. Oh, and then getting shot in the kneecap and then you go airborne because physics. <laughs> you got to love it.